Hey guys, this is Jackie. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to be making pork chops. I have the pork chops that don't have the bone in it. I have about 14 pork chops right here. And I don't know, I might eat all these pork chops all by myself. I have the um, Italian dressing, which I use for marinade for the pork chops, for the thick ones, so they won't pull your teeth out. They make your pork chops very tender. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and also half a teaspoon of black pepper grinder, cayenne pepper, just a little bit, half a teaspoon of ground oregano. And I season my pork chops. Uh, both sides of the pork chops have been seasoned and I season them very well. I'm going to use pure vegetable oil. I'm just going to pour in about half an inch to an inch of that. I have my egg mixture which is eggs and milk and I'm just going to whisk that with a whisk until it's uniform in color. I'm going to use a coating for my pork chops which makes them very very crispy and golden brown. Okay so after I whisk that up I'm just going to dip my seasoned pork chops in that egg mixture and my flour is already seasoning, seasoned with the same seasonings and I'm just going to dip that on both sides. I'm going to shake off the excess flour and I'm just going to put that right in the grease very gently and I'm just going to keep repeating that process until I get all 14 pork chops coated and in the grease. I cannot remember the last time I had pork chops and these are going to be so delicious. I love golden brown fried pork chops. I'm just going to continue to coat that in the flour. Just shake off the excess because we don't want too much flour in our pan that's going to cause the uh, pork chops to turn black have black spots on it and it have a lot of flour at the bottom of the pan doesn't these look delicious guys very very crispy pork chops and I'm using my tongs because if you use a fork to pierce your meat it allows all the moisture and the juice to escape so you always want to use tongs to turn your meat over and I just keep turning them over until they are ready and the thin pork chops I like those because they cook very very fast and they get crispy see that beautiful golden brown color just make you want to bite into it right now doesn't that look delicious guys I can't wait I can hardly wait so I'm just gonna keep taking those out until they're uh, all done and just put them on my paper towel to drain off the excess grease okay just keep on and keep on till you get all the way to the end okay so I got my last two pork chops and I'm just going to take those out very gently and just put them on that paper towel and drain the juice. Okay, so I have my grease left. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make some brown gravy today. And I have all the seasonings at the bottom of the pan and I have the uh, remnants from the pork chop. So I pulled out half of that grease see all my 14 uh, pork chops right here so what I'm going to do I'm just going to make some gravy I poured out uh, half of the grease and I'm just going to add about a half a cup to three-fourths cup of flour my flour is already seasoned that's the same flour that I use to season the pork chops so I'm just going to start uh, putting the flour inside that grease and I'm just going to stir that up. This is how you make brown gravy. The longer that you cook the uh, gravy, the darker it gets. So if you want your gravy darker, you want to cook your gravy longer at this point right here. 
And you can always add mushrooms, onions, uh, more black pepper, anything that you want inside your gravy. You can add it at this point. But you just want to make sure you get all the lumps out and you want to stir it very, very well. Make sure that it's mixed thoroughly. And when you get it the color that you want and the consistency, you can also taste it at this point to see if it has enough seasonings in it. You just want to add some water to your gravy mixture once you get the color that you like, the flavor that you like. Okay, so I'm just going to add uh, about a half a cup of water right now and I'm just going to continue to mix that up. Add water, mix it up, add water until I get the desired consistency that I'm looking for. <clears throat> okay, and you could use this gravy. Uh, this is how you smother uh, chicken, smother pork chops, or any other kind of meat. So my gravy is ready uh, and it tastes very, very delicious. So what I'm going to do, since I have it all mixed up, I'm just going to add uh, the pork chops to my gravy. I'm not going to add all 14 pork chops because everybody does not like gravy. Everybody does not like smothered pork chops. So I'm just going to put three and I'm just going to coat those very well with that gravy. Okay, and once I have those pork chops uh, smothered and covered in that gravy, I'm just going to put a top on it and I'm just going to let that simmer like maybe about 15 or 20 minutes with the fire very very low okay and once that smothered pork chops ready I'm going to fix my plate I have white rice I have broccoli I have biscuits and I'm ready to get down it's time to eat okay the party's over guys thank you for watching my video talk to you later i love you i'm ready to get down to the next video bye love